Yeah, I'm an yes. Igbo man. I'm a Biafran. You understand? But pres presently, you're residing in Nigeria. Was... Number one problem is the release of Nandi Carlo. Since the, that man is, is, a, is a leader yes. to the southeast, and the man is speaking the truth. So since they are holding him down, people are bound to be making problems. And they say there will be no peace in the southeast unless they release that man. And the government know, they know about it. Even the court have released him. The government, the people in power still hold him down. Okay. Uh, What's the way forward, sir, out of this chaos? So... The only way forward, number one, is to release him down the car. If they release him down the car, you see everything will calm down. Now, President Angolam, because he's supposed to release Nani Carlo so that the office is done. Talk about this matter one for so all of us go rest. So, is he release of Nani Carlo or Biafra won't go? He release him, we may send Biafra go. If he won't go, but when they sit down first, they don't know whether Biafra go, or he will go, but when they first release him. Nani Carlo is uh, somebody that is truthful. And Nigeria don't want the truth. This is what I'm telling you that the people that is ruling this country is not the Nigerians. That man is a truthful person. So the he solution is to release? They must release that man. If they don't release them, there will be no peace in this country. Me and Falamir, they will divide this country. No, no. Oh, 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 they go. So, Why must they hold him? What did he commit? No reason. Because he's, he saw what the evil and the atrocity that is going on, and he said no. And he stands for justice. Is it a taboo for someone to stand for for justice? No. See, time has come. Any man or woman, if you support evil, evil will follow you. You will die and you will perish. You must stand for injustice. Stand for your rights. Believe in one another because whatever thing you saw today, you might repeat tomorrow. A lot of Nigeria say it's a, it was unfair. You know, Sunday Boro was one of the people agitating for this uh, division, this integration of Nigeria to fractions. So we've seen that uh, Sunday Igbo, nobody talks about Sunday Igbo again. He has, he's, he's free. But now, in, in Namdi Kalu is in uh, incarceration. They still put up for fridge. Do you think Nigeria government is doing an, it's an injustice for, uh, on the part of the Easterners? We all know this, the, the truth. It's open. Yes. It's an injustice. If we must get this right in, in life, yes. you must not hold the innocent. Mm. Because when you hold the innocent, the world will crumble. Every year will crumble, or not to any man. Because you only see today, you don't see tomorrow. Do you suggest, do you think release of Mazin Amdekalu will, will bring Nigeria together, or Nigeria should go into fractions? What I believe in life, yes. when you, you, you come out for peace, yes. and somebody that, that you, 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 you ask for peace does not want peace, what will you do? You have to go your own way. Yeah. Nigeria can never be the same again. Yeah. I'm not as I'm not scared of anything. Yeah. Even 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 my even look at where I am. Yeah. I am frustrated. So the best thing let everybody fuck out and go their way. Yeah. Finish. Activities that has been going on in, in the east has been going on. So if they had adhered to what they have been agitating for and for the freedom of uh, their leader it would have uh, minimized the things that has been happening there hardship they cause many problems if you get to work i get to work. this one get to work we will not have time to agitate, to agitate or some things why people are agitating for some things because of again uh, no work. One, two is uh, idleness. Bible said uh, an idle man is the devil workshop. That is what I believe because cause no this problem in Nigeria. If everybody did well, nobody go agitate. What do you agitate for? What do you agitate for? For this and the time, why me they rule this country? I know many many companies there for Nigeria and people people are seeking for work and work there everywhere. But now there is no company in Nigeria. As Nigeria is now. A lot of God yeah, even if you go to fly over, you see where boys are wasting their time there. Yeah. Understand? So that is what I can say about Nigeria for today. But my my prayer to make youth or army rise up. So you prefer make army come take over now. I prefer army than to the civilians. What of us? Since 1999 till date, we never see anything achievement, civilian government achieve in Nigeria. Brother, this crisis is everywhere.
Every we are no 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 uh, 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 political zone when no get problem. The whole Nigeria no zone when no get problem. When the army rule really Nigeria, Nigeria we everybody knows Nigeria is. So I mean they better. Now. I mean they are better. Africa never has be anything about uh, uh, this uh, uh, democracy. Africa never they qualify for democracy. Nigeria no have any law to give account. When person bear one person say this man is uh, discharging and acquitted, and one person can say is not acquitted is only discharged, and we will never see the discharge. And the first, second one. Are you talking about Inam Dikalu? No, I am not talking. About, I am talking about what is happening in the country, yeah, yeah. including the Dutton and the Kari yeah, case yeah. and the Simon Eba case. All of them join for the problem of Nigeria and Boko Haram and Islamic and the Christian. So, may, when see they talk now, say may, may Nigeria go there and say, What I want to tell Nigeria is Nigeria have expired by law, the normal procedure. Nigeria now is supposed to make them divide them into three, make everybody as the problem does start already. From 90, after Nigeria civil war to independence. So, Nigeria, Nigeria don't expire, everybody does. Yes, make them divide them as they count them. The Nigerian, Biafran, and uh, Odudua. And Arewa. Uh, Arewa. All of them. So, instead of Nigeria too big for one person to rule. A very long time I knew about Biafra. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra is being incarcerated after all series of court victory verdicts. But Nigeria still decides to keep that man waiting. Who is Nigeria waiting for for his rescue? Is Biafra the solution or dialogue, sir? Yeah, Biafra is one of the key things that have so far happened to Nigeria. Nigeria got into Biafra civil war. Yeah. After six years interval independences, you understand? Yes. So Nigeria fell into a, a kind of lagoon yes. that need to be resurrected. Yes. So well, what you're saying now, sir, Nigeria should divide. We have to go their way. That is the solution. Yeah. Not yes, Nigeria that has already made their faith clear. Yes, Nigeria. Yes. 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 Are we in Nigeria? Just give us your reactions. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the only thing is that um, what he needs is that uh, uh, let them release uh, our leader. Our leader. that is only take a big peace in South East, even though Nigeria, Africa as a whole, the reason of mass and the Kalo, that's what we need for federal government. And let them stop killing innocent people, people that people that not do anything, bombing people's house, destroy people's property. If they want to attack, eh? if, they, if, 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 if they are fighting security, I get let them find people, let them let them go inside bush, inside for wherever they are. I get me go there, go and find them. Nigeria army should stop killing yeah, innocent, stop innocent innocent people. That is the problem. And the reason that because that there will be peace. We just do we say as the world starts, we follow poor body. You go follow poor body. I know follow poor body now. All of us follow the suffer, the suffer. I follow the suffer, the suffer. So no joy everywhere. So it just be. Well, you see, crisis don't. The crisis for South is don't. The thing don't skyrocket. But is it uh, the separatists or is it for separation or the release of Nadi Kalu? Okay, mean the crisis. The crisis, yes. No, 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 no. Um. I know if you say now nah, because of the reason of Nandikan. Yeah. Because uh, many uh, so many things in Nigeria now can cause uh, can lead to crisis. Uh, we have different wars in Nigeria. Uh, we they fight uh, we they have a hunger war. Uh, hunger war there for Nigeria. The unemployment war there for Nigeria. Then uh, and you remember what Bible says. Bible says I do man is a devil workshop. So anything can lead to crisis. So um, I'm not saying that because of the uh, reason of Fundan they can because uh, the people where they cause crisis, we never see them one-on-one -on -one ask them question, what they what they want to be their problem. But my, myself, eh, I use myself as an example, eh, I did hunger war now. Yes, yes. So hunger there everywhere. So uh, that thing can lead to crisis. Understand? So, so protest, hunger, protest. Uh, uh, but me, I don't feature myself. You can see I don't find something doing. Yeah. Understand? Now, uh, I will drive other people. Maybe they find something doing. Because our leaders are important. They are not care for us. The only time they give us food, as uh, even prisoners are eating well, far better than people where crime say they have they, they freedom. Understand? The last time we eat one super pack of indomie, 
was uh, uh, the, day, the day of election. Yeah. Understand now? What well, was the super pack of Indomie? Yes. Now, what do you eat last? So, I don't know. They're not a year one They do not even care. They don't care for us. Mm. Understand? They don't care for us. No joy for Ninja. No joy, no joy for so that's what is leading to the crisis in the yes, society. Yes, yes, yes. Even, even if you enter Moto, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, ask conductor where before you enter Moto. That you can bring crisis. Uh, you see, if you look at it, you know that this, this crisis is caused by government, caused by. Uh, 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 Imo State and the uh, Abia State and the uh, Anambara, Enugu, and the. Uh, it's called by politicians, they are governors. Because we know that when they call this man, and the Kalo, it's like 2016 or 2000, they're asking this man, what will you do? The, the, the governors called him, so, what will you do to make this uh, uh, protest and all the rest to stop? The man tell them that. You go and build the road, refinery, uh, make sure there is light, there is employment. Let it be good to uh, Mr. A and let it be good to Mr. B. That I would drop this agitation. But still yet, if you go to our normal normal state road, it cannot even pass to Aba. I'm not talking about Federal Road because Federal Road, Caterpillar will come to the Pier Federal Road, will stop, will, will even spoil in the Federal Road there. I don't know the machine they will use to walk that Federal Road. I'm talking about the state road. If you watch the state road, if you go to Anambra, if you go to Imo State, no road to pass. If you go to Enugu, state road are finished. So are you saying the Igbo side are being marginalized? Or they, no, there's no... When we are talking about the Igbo side, they are being marginalized. Yes, somehow we are being marginalized. But this our governors. Is it not from Igbo? Are they not getting money from the for the federal government? Are they not getting allocation? Why not use this allocation and put the Igbo, 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 Igbo status in, in order? Why not use this allocation money? But due to these people are wicked, are demons. They cannot walk the road. You see how insecurity are everywhere. That is, this is security caused by the government of this our southeast. Many of these Igbo uh, uh, states. It caused by the governors. They know what they will do to make sure that, that this uh, is security. December is approaching. So how do we travel? What is the way forward? Sir? How do we travel? The way forward is to release Nandekalo. It's only Nandekalo that will come out and still do that broker said, let everything be stopped. And I know that will be stopped. They will now separate all those criminals from the good ones. Because now if you go to Allah, if you go, you are in Nigeria and you know what is happening in Igbo state. You know what was in Arabia state everywhere. You cannot even travel. Do you travel to your village? We were from Allah. We don't travel to Allah. I don't know where you're from anyway. But I'm from Allah. Don't, if you if, 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 if see me now in, in my village now, oh, I'm a suspect. If they see me now with my car, that means they, they, I'm gone. So they don't even ask you where are you from or where is this. If many people see you there, they, they have shoot you. You are up up. So that is the problem we are facing. We cannot travel to our village anymore. You know what I mean? So when something happens, when all those criminals come and kill soldiers, soldiers they're not supposed to do. Instead of soldiers and the police will put their eye on the ground to fish out all those criminals. They commit the atrocities. I don't know who will come. Quote me, I don't know who will come and start burning the properties after the boys have left. We don't know. What we see again now, the properties of people that did not commit the crime will be burning. If Nigeria have a court, and which we are know we don't have a court, that man has been set free. Most of the problem that happened in the uh, southeast is caused by that man because the man is innocent of whatever the law have set him free. Yes. So why are they still holding him? So by other people saying to go and beg the government, and they know the reason why all this, all this is the calamity that is happening. And more things are going to happen because if they still detain that man for no reasons. So I don't see. So the problem is if they release that man, so that is and that, that will have peace. The only thing that can bring this country to a peaceful state is to, for us to divide this country. The agitations are many. It's not only the, uh, in the indigenous people of Biafra. The, the whole of Nandika is causing this havoc. Yes. The, the appeals court have released this man, re released and acquitted. The government is still holding him with, to tell us that the judiciary of this country or the government of this country is not doing anything for the common man.
That is the agitation. And I want to tell you that unless that man is released, Nandi Kano, the leader of the IPOB, there will be no peace in this country. And the only thing that can make this country to have peace of mind is when this country is divided, so that everybody to go to this ethnic place, so that people can go there and salvage their situation. And it's better. I know that even if this country is divided, I'm not telling that the heaven is going to fall at that moment in time, but it's better for me to die in the hands of my brother than for me to die in the hands of an enemy. That's Actually, I'm not based in the East, but uh, based on the information I've been hearing concerning the East, uh, that place is not something to write to my about. Uh, because uh, hence the federal government refused to adhere to the voices of the, the IPOB personnel. That is why the activities that has been going on in, in the East has been going on. So if they had adhered to what they have been agitating for and for the freedom of uh, their leader, it would have uh, minimized the things that has been happening there. So that is how far it has been going. And uh, I am not a member of them, but more of uh, the happenings are still going to be carried out. If they refuse to adhere to the callings and the, what the, the IPOB people asked from them. We are seeing that innocent people have been displaced from their homes and people, they are innocent people have been, have been a victim of this, what, the casualty of what is currently going on, the soldiers and even the IPOB members. What do you think will be the solution? Is it dialogue or disintegration of Nigeria, the separation? Or the release of man, Nazi and Nazi Kalu. So what I'm saying in essence is that uh, the innocent people that has been involved, uh, the military, some of them are innocent because they are being given orders to carry out the activities there. And uh, another people that are innocent are the villagers. And after the attack, the army will still go back there. Irrespective of the fact that the people they are meeting are, the, are not the ones that uh, did the act. Yes. But they will still go there to burn down houses and uh, kill innocent villagers whom we are not aware of when the attack was being carried out. So if they want peace, let them come to dialogue or listen to the referendum that are being called by the indigenous people of Biafra. And they released Mazin and the Carlo. It would have been even more better. So what didn't happen for East now? That is seven. I get where I'm from. Mm. Yeah? But this government, I don't know how they treat us, like so we'll be animal. Mm. They force every people anyhow. You say you know some people they die. You know some people they die. Then they kill our people anyhow. Bomb people houses. Then they know the truth. But then try to follow the truth. Look at us, everything is going. No fear. Everything is I was thinking, what in the world this woman says? Which can woman be where you be? So what in the talk, eh? You don't need to talk plenty talk. We have to do the right. What is the right thing, sir? The government, they don't bring food down. Eh? Open business, open border. Make market they enter. Look at rice now. Look at food now. The plate of food now. They're not saying rice 200 again. No rice 200 No, No, nothing. The, our government, let me tell you, no get the money, you get the money, get the property, get the allocation, get everything, get the oil. But look at the, the rest of us. The way they rule this country, I know that na, na Nigeria has been a fan and I have been a Niger. So, Mary, tell us the truth. What is the way forward, sir? Way forward now. Nah. So, what is, what is my own, my own talk there now? Nah. Yeah. Eh? Make this country now, nah. make them, even say they will give up Biafra, make them give up Biafra. Okay, now nah, to. Eh, more go, the eh, make it by the country, more go. We have something that Nate here again last, I think it's this week early, that say some of the uh, police, they are doing like this, we collect money from people doing like this. I was the wonderful when I see our leader in the House of Rep, House of Assembly. They will, they will start their cloth. Agbada, agbada, all of them. They didn't know why people are suffering in their community. How many? If this quality you are talking about, yes, if you look in the northern area, are you hear me? Yes, sir. I see for TV that there are some things to many of them. Inside a children's village there, we people are staying in the city. State, local government, state uh, capital, we don't see anything. So don't you, you, what you're saying is uh, even the palliative cannot, cannot mitigate it can, the effect of poverty. It's not making sense.